Hello, what's up, man? It's our Hikarashi Go episode 7! Yeah! Whoa! So, ladies and gentlemen, last episode pretty much confirmed that Xion is indeed the twin sister to Mion. So, the Sonozaki are indeed the twin sisters. Although, I have to say though, the opening ending kind of gave it away. So, I mean, like I said, I, I pretty much mentioned this back in episode 5. That was like, it's been spoiled by the ending theme already. But anyhow, you can say that last episode was kind of like a wholesome episode between Xion and Nokeji. Like I said, that those two are like cute couples, although a lot of you guys said, yeah, wait until later in the season that you will change your mind around, around Xion. But like I said, don't spoil me much because like I'm gonna go into this like kind of blinded because I know there's a lot of people that love to say stuff in the conversation. I don't mind reading them, but by, by the way, I should only put a spoiler to it. But yeah, you can say a lot of you guys are so you know t looking forward to see my reaction to this upcoming few episodes because now from the way they end last episode, they're entering the storehouse of the you know the torture weapons. Yeah, you can say here we go again with the horror stuff we're gonna experience for this arc. Well, mostly focusing on the Sonozaki this time from what I can see. So yeah, let's just see what this well the third episode of this arc has in offer for us. Cause well, from what I can be told, that this episode is the kickstart to well the horror things we're gonna experience for the rest of the season. So well for this arc, I would say, but more specifically. So let me just get started, and here we go in three, two, one, bam! And yep, they enter the storehouse, and guess what? They're cursed. It's no surprise. It's a no brainer. They're gonna get cursed, one thousand percent. Boom! Look, a Buddha in the middle of the storehouse, and with creepy music, dude. I I'm pretty sure that is the the Oyashiro, the one that you know set uh, sent the people to kill those who find out about the truth around the town. Oh wow! Here we go again with the Sonozaki this time. Not I don't think Rena will be like involved this time. I think the Sonozaki will be involved this time. Well, I think more like more of Mion because the you no know, Mion's the from what we see from the previous arc. Yeah, she say she's in Rena like one of those people that eliminate those cause that feels like they're like uh, causing trouble around town, trying to find out the truth around town. And although a lot of people told me to told me that this is um, a remake slash sequel, well, I don't know, man, because I've been I haven't. A lot of people say that. Oh my god, this is almost like the remake from the original. Oh, and then some people say, oh my god, this is oh, this is indeed a sequel because they changed some scenes from it. Well, like I said, you feel me, uh, help me out in the conversation below and tell me the stuff that changed from this episode or this arc. And of course, you guys told me that the previous arc, the way they end the previous arc is kind of different from the how they ended the original. But, well, this one though, well, let's just see what changes from it, from, from, from what you guys are going to tell me in the conversation below. But by the way, I read all the comments. I repeat, I read all the comments. So don't, don't think I won't really be reading them. Higurashi go! Let's go! Get it? Go! So, what kind of horrible truth are they gonna find out about in this storehouse? This curse? Hmm. I mean, I, no one's around though, so I don't think everyone will see them. Yeah, everyone's too focused on Rika's dancing. I mean, her dancing is pretty much gonna set set the curse, man. But still, so yep, that's Orashiro, this Buddha right here in the middle of the forest. Dude, these tools are like torturing tools from from what I can see. Dude, these are torturing tools, man. Not ritual tools, torturing tools. <coughs> hmm. Oh my god, here we go, old story time. What is she gonna tell us? Long ago, deep in the mountains, there lay a swamp that was so deep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. What's that? Yeah. So, wait, you're telling me that. You're telling me that the, the town you're living in once resides a demon? 
Oh my god, so you're telling me this place is haunted by a demon. Oh yeah, Shiro in this case. Oh, I see. So this is the old story. So apparently, Hinazawa is a cursed place with demons. There we go, Oyashiro. Mm -hmm. Wow, did she? Well, we shall see. Violence isn't the answer to everything. That's true, though. Isn't violent, but she, what, what she, 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 she turned the demons into humans or something? <laughs> Couldn't bring them so to attack him. Instead, before his reigning majesty, kind deity granted a demon. I knew it! I just knew it! Why am I not surprised? It turned human, demons into humans to live in harmony around the village. Oh my god, really? Why did I just predict that? <laughs> wow. So she's the god. So apparently, oh yeah, she was a god because she she war she allowed this place to live in harmony, allowed demons and humans to live together, and those demons turned out to be the to pass on the the sort of the ancestry to oh you know those kills those yep. So apparently, Rena Sonozaki families are like have the blood of the demons. Yep, I knew it. The villagers have su have some demon blood in them. They pass on the tradition. And demoning away kind of makes sense now because you know they turn. Because like the demons kill them. <laughs> That's demoning away. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, he's aware. Well, he's a he, by the way. Okay. Hmm. Fit for sacrifice. <laughs> fit for sacrifice. You mean more like those who are causing trouble around town, or trying to f find out the truth, or trying to like cause harm to the village? That's fit for sacrifice. That's what she, what the story meant. Hmm. Means in trails. Oh, oh. Oh, so the cotton festival is. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Takes place in June. Okay, go on. We're finding out the truth about this festival. Mm hmm. This is how hunt to kill and feast on human flesh. Oh my god, so this festival kickstart. Kickstart the fucking, you know, killing. And hunting of humans. Oh my god. No. Nope. The meaning behind it is in trails. Maybe basically cast away. Recast, dance, cast the curse. Hmm. That's. Basically, recast holding is like one of those tools we can find in here. Calm down, KT. Calm down, man. I know you're trying to like. Exactly! She's carrying one of those weapons in here. Yep, yeah, there we go. So basically the dance is to activate the curse and people, the blood, the demon inside the blood of those they passed on to activate Sonazaki and Rena, basically. And of course others too, but mostly those two. Oh my god, so it kind of answers the question now to the village, uh, to the festival. Hmm. Thanks, whoever you are. The nurse of this town, apparently. Really? You had to touch it? Oh, okay. Okay, she's the first victim. She's the first victim. Xion is the... Xion is the first victim. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Like, I just got goosebumps, man. I just got goosebumps. Like, someone just opened the door and... I thought it was like someone trying to f find out about the, some noise. Dude, you don't just break a, a a Buddha statue like that, okay? If you break a Buddha statue, you curse all your bad luck cast upon you. It's a Chinese thing, just like guess though. So that's why when we China, when we buy new Buddhas, we put on shelf. We have to be very careful. We drop it, 
No, no, no. So they're ne they're, 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 they're going to be a victims already. They're going to be a victim. Sean, he's going to be the first one. Oh, will she though? That's the question. Because you know she may be able to like protect herself. <sighs> mm hmm. Dude, I have a very bad feeling about this, man. This, this. I'm surprised no one like come come up and uh, uh, you know find out what's going on. I was just saying, people are looking for those four, but oh well, guess they're too busy with weekend dancing. Oh my god, I'm having goosebumps right now, guys. I am having goosebumps. Because I know these four are fucked already, because they just messed with this Buddha statue. Oh yeah, Shira statue, I'm more specific. Oh man, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh my god, seriously. Mm. Yeah, they go down to the water. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be the third wheel. More like we don't want to get involved with your curse cast upon you guys. Dude, I won't be surprised if the next day these two are missing or dead. <laughs> like the previous arc, they were missing. More like demon the way. <laughs> mm hmm. 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 <laughs> yeah, you can say that the Sonozaki has feelings for Keiji. Well, I'm not sure about Shion though, because apparently, guys, you guys told me that Shion has her heart casted on someone else, but from what I can see from the last episode, it doesn't seem to be the case. Well, for now. Oh man, signs to come, guys. Maybe find someone tonight. Well, you, Xion. You're the one who, who broke the head. Hmm. I mean, it's obviously gonna be those four. Dude, it's not a joke, okay? It's not a joke, it's truth. It's the truth. You guys are gonna be you guys are gonna be targeted by the curse. Oh my god. I'm bracing myself for what to come for this. Hey those there they are. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm getting nervous for him, man. I'm getting really nervous for him. Honto, Gampa desne, Rika. Your dad was so amazing. You you activate the Oyashiro curse. Mm hmm. Mm, of course not, because he was too busy accompanying Xion and those two. <laughs> ah, ay ay ay, ay ay ay. Let's head out. What? What she gonna say? Don't tell me she gonna like go into the curse mode. Oh my god, no, don't tell me. Please. Oh my god. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, exactly. He does a terrible life, KG. That's it. Oh my god, here we go, <laughs> here we go, here we go. The son of Zaki strikes first. She have me on, man. She's on to Keiji now. Because 
I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Mion knows. She pre I'm pretty sure she knows. Uh. What does he want? What does this detective want now? Dude, is he like is he like asking him about about what happened? Hmm. I mean the friends, of course. The father. The Yakuza family, what? Her family is a Yakuza? Wait, what? Really? The Yakuza's? Really? I mean, they are like I won't be. I, I mean, maybe they're head of town. That's why they use the term Yakuza because it controls this area. <coughs> oh my God! One of my best friends. Yeah, that best friend gonna turn to a murderer. Seriously, man, what's this detective's deal? Seriously, what's his deal, man? Ah! Of course, he's gonna ask about those two. Of course, he's gonna ask about those two. <clears throat> it's not that he's, he's not gonna remember, he's more like he's trying to avoid asking, revealing what happened. I'm pretty sure the detective is still gonna onto still be onto him though because of his how he reacted to it. Mm -hmm. You did see those two tonight. <laughs> oh my God, he knows! Oh my God, dude, you're no running away from the detective. He knows because he saw you guys. I'm pretty sure he saw them. He was stalking them. Oh my god, not just, you know, Shio, not just Mion, also the detective, so he's basically in tight, hot war, tight ropes right now. Uh, what, what do you want now? Uh huh. Yeah? Yeah, why are you double checking that? Oh my god, don't tell me that's me on disguise. Oh no, it's just Xion. It's just Xion. Wait, what? Like I said. Because. I'm pretty sure they're gone. I'm pretty sure they're gone missing or dead or killed. I knew it! Here we go. I knew it. I knew it. They're, they're, they're first. Of course, they're gonna. Of course. Of course, they're gonna be first. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, guess they're trying to run away from the curse, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. That too. Run away from run away from it all, man. I'm pretty sure they're gonna die anyways, even though they run away. Cause there'll be people after them, the demons. Wow, you're the one who beheaded oh yes, hero. I mean, it's a no-brainer, you guys will be targeted. You guys should never walk into the storehouse. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's true though. Xion was the one that started all of this. He has the right to blame her. I mean, he has the right to like, he has the right to like, you know, blame her. To be honest, he wants none of this. But Xion was like, gonna drag her, drag him in, and now he's involved. I can say, I can say, this is the right reaction, man. This is the right reaction. He's really scared. He's angry. He's pissed and he's very scared. That's why he say all those stuff to Xion. 
because he never wanted to be have any part of this, but Xion dragged him into it. <sighs> oh well, sad life for him. He's gonna die. Thanks, Xion. <laughs> oh well, he's gonna be on vigil. He's gonna be vigilant now. He's gonna be very vigilant. Yeah, because he can't sleep. <laughs> of course you can't sleep after you've been told by all oh, that by Shion say, Oh yeah, I brought you in a uh, beheaded oh beheaded Oyashiro and that means the curse is after you now. <laughs> I mean seriously, when you've been told by all oh, that like before you sleep, then of course you can't sleep. If if I've been told that there will be a ghost coming after me at night, I won't be able to sleep. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Here we go. The mayor. Interesting. The mayor. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure the mayor is apparently being demoned away. So. Oh well. Let's see. See how this goes, man. Maybe because, you know, he he was there or something, or maybe he's on like a, on the hunting mission, I don't know. Oh my god, now it's Rika's turn to question him. <laughs> oh my god, trying to, trying to deviate away from the topic. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to shape the story. Mm -hmm. Go on, go on, KG. Trying to change the story up so that she won't suspect, suspect you. Oh no 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 Oh my That eye man Oh Oh no 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 Oh my god it's Oyashiro is she, oh yeah, Shiro is processing Rika. Cause that's oh yeah, Shiro. What, what else are you supposed to be? And yep, they're dead. Oh my god. Uh. Oh my god, that was a warning. That was a warning, man. That was a message from Oyashiro and a warning. Hey, she's back to normal now. See? Is Rika like the sort of host for the Oyashiro? Ah shit, here we go again. <sighs> yep, there's no pause. Uh, there's next episode is part four of the cotton deceiving chapter. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was a message from God. That was a message from God. You should watch me dancing. Yep. They know, she knows, Rika knows, or she has oh yeah, she a possessor and tore and did deliver the message to, uh, to KG. It doesn't matter if you worry about it or not, it's all over. <sighs> that was a warning, man. That was a fuck, that was a fucking warning from God itself. Oh my god, here we go. Next episode, Shion, KG.
dead. Oh well, I mean, obviously those two are gonna die because you know they were involved. Of course, they're gonna be the first victim because they ran away. They're trying to run away. You cannot run away from curse, okay? Once you've been cursed, you the curse will come after you no matter where you go. <sighs> so I'm pretty sure they crashed the car somewhere, or maybe so maybe some sort of suicidal attack or something. But oh well. I never expected you to tell me that it was such a ridiculous story. <laughs> oh, dude, come on, man. Keiji, you really think and fool the host of Oyashiro, or should I say, or should I say Oish Rika? I'm pretty sure Rika knows everything. She's basically, I mean, she is the one who performed the dance. So basically, she allowed Oyashiro to possess her. I mean, she, I think it was mentioned that she, she um, her, um, I think it was episode two that you guys, some of you guys told me that Rika is like the the actual uh, body of Oyashiro, uh, the embodiment of Oyashiro itself. To deliver and yeah, dude, come on, man. Rika knows. She knows. You don't don't think putting kittens in the story can change the story of anything. <sighs> My God. So apparently, uh, either these two will be the one going after um KG or maybe even Rika though. So either Rika, Rena, or Mion will be coming after Xion. I mean, obviously Mion will be coming after Xion because, you know, they're sisters. So maybe, you know, Mion, you uh, pretend that she is the normal Mion and, and draw Xion in and that, and then, you know, attack her from there. And then, you know, coming up and then she'll come after KG next. So yeah, Xion's pretty much fucked by Mion. So Mion is going to be attacking Xion. And then I think once she dealt with Xion, then she will uh, come after KG. <sighs> I can see this sort of thing, and of course, you know, it was mentioned that the Sonozaki family are like kind of like the head of the town. So, and from what I can see, though, I'm not sure where I heard this from, but I remember some people told me that apparently, apparently, she ha she is the she have the demon blood in them because it's been told that by the nurse of the town that the the villagers have live among um, demons live among the humans so some of the them pass on the blood onto humans so basically pass on the demon blood so oh it seems like the son is lucky have the demon blood no wonder they acted like that it, of course rena has it too so my god uh make a run for it dude you break a, a oh yeah your head you dig you beheaded him your that is a sign to, of your death coming your way already you do not break buddha head or any part of the body because that is just sins man that is just a bad sin and bad sin in this town is death <laughs> oh my god what's next man i i'm free i have next episode is going to be the killing for now it's going to be the killing frenzy man you can see crazy moments like we saw from the previous arc where rena goes around stabbing kg or um, this time Mion will be the one doing the stabbing this time from what i can see i mean she is the one that questioned me first and and of course, you can say that she on did what she did right here. I I think she was just scared, so that's why she was just like saying all this stuff. Because when you're scared, you say random shit. And of course, KG has all the right to say sh all that to me, uh, you know, Xion because she was the one that grabbed him into the situation. He has no, he wants nothing to do with it. And so yeah, KG, you basically got yourself into this mess now. No running away now. You're pretty much fucked in the next episode oh well whoever kills him we shall see so with that said hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the day smash the like button enjoy the rest of the day see you next time guys guys then